All right, what does the next round have for us? It has for us a three-star Witch Doctor. So you can see there that we did find many, many Witch Doctors. G'day, Josh here with the Chess Rush video, and we're gonna be looking at a pretty interesting build that I've been popping up, or that I have seen popping up more and more in uh, in games that I've been playing. And we're going to be building that one in this replay and talking through some of the intricacies. Uh, it's got some common pieces and some not so common pieces, uh, which is interesting given the, the pieces, the way it fits together kind of makes sense, but um, I wonder if Dragons, which is a part of this build, was a bit of a sleeper combo last meta. It wasn't super popular. I know that two Dragons got a, uh, a buff, but three Dragons remained untouched, and it does use three Dragons in this build. Uh, so that's going to be really, really interesting. Uh, you can see that I grabbed lots and lots of Witch Doctors early too. So I've already got two Witch Doctors out of the gate, and I think I end up seeing, yeah, look at that, two more as well as Everbloom. So I'm able to upgrade both of them now witch doctor has been upgraded recently as well which is worth noting his uh his totem is invincible it can't be killed and it also spawns next to the lowest hp ally which is super super useful it used to spawn just near spawn just near witch doctor and didn't do a lot of good to anybody you anyway, know let's actually go ahead and jump through to our first pvp round uh, and from memory, I just end up getting a super early three-star Witch Doctor here. So not really grabbing too many important pieces just yet. Famine is all, always strong. And uh, look at that. I've already got the ability to upgrade the Longsword there, which I don't do just yet. I'm saving it because I'm not entirely sure which of the upgrades I want uh, just yet. So I do end up putting one on Calamity, one on Famine. Spread it out a little bit for now, and we jump into the first battle. How do the Witch Doctors hold up? In fact, do either of them even get their totems off at this point in time? They're very, very slow to generate mana, as you can see. So they require 100. Uh, so yeah, no, none of them actually ends up generating a totem. They do a fair chunk of damage, which is always nice. All right, what does the next round have for us? It has for us a three-star Witch Doctor. So you can see there that we did find many, many Witch Doctors, and the replay has actually glitched out. Those two Witch Doctors are a bug. They are not actually... Let me see if I switch boards and come back. There we go. They've vanished. That was interesting. That looked like I'd found way more Witch Doctors than I actually had. But at this point, I had found six Witch Doctors, which is how I got that three-star Witch Doctor at this point in time. And we're collecting Riders, Hunters, and Undead at this stage as well. The round five battle, what does it look like? We've got three assassins on the board now as well, which is always nice. Stinger, Venom, both of those are a part of this build. And our three star Witch Doctor just going down there. In fact, it seems to be a little bit buggy, the replay. Heroes are getting stuck. So you can see that we just lose that one so close, taking out that flame caller, but we couldn't quite get it done. There's at round six. Let's, let's jump through to round seven. Yeah, I'm not sure. For a split second, it had me with two demons on the board, which was not the case. All right, let's jump through to the battle. Nothing really changed for a couple of rounds here with my board state. And while that battle is actually underway, you can see that's where we're looking at this stage. So there's four of us running assassins at this stage. Most of us have two undead as well. Uh, and unfortunately, we go down to this particular build. Two-star Stinger and two-star uh, Famine, a little bit too strong for us at this stage. Round eight battle, We're once again, up against another Punisher build with a two-star Nightingale and a two-star Steel Fist. I don't have a lot of two-stars. I've got a two-star Famine of my own and a three-star Witch Doctor, that's about it. But thankfully, it's enough to get the job done here. Witch Doctor does go down again. It's worth noting, that even at three star, Witch Doctor doesn't have a whole heap of health. It's still only 4280. You can see that Dragoon's 2600, 3200, two star famine. So yeah, really not an amazing level of health. Starting to collect all of the pieces now. I've got Moonlight Dragon as well. So I've got the three dragons. Uh, Miss Fortune is a piece of this as well. She will end up being my second undead along with Stinger. And then four goblins is also a part of this. You can see that I'm struggling a little bit to find the appropriate goblins. I've only got a couple of hog riders at this stage. 
which uh, is not ideal. So it's around this time. You see, I'm level 6. I've got a 35% chance of finding Voodoo Elder, or finding a 2-star, I should say. One of which can be Voodoo Elder. Once I go to level 7, I start to lose that chance. Uh, so it is, that's, you can see that's why I'm spending a little bit of cash, spinning the shop here at level 6, as unfortunately I take another loss there. But if we go through to round 10, I've got the Harpies. I'm just going to hold my crystals here. You don't want to spend crystals on creep rounds. It's not very efficient. But once we get to round 11... I have enough to level, in fact, we naturally level up there. Um, but you can see, I find myself another goblin, which is fantastic. Uh, so I believe that I end up making a change here, do I? Do I end up putting, or maybe I don't put the goblins out just yet. I've got three dragons on the board, obviously, as you can see. Uh, I do, I sell off the witch doctor. Now I've got two goblins as well. Uh, and now, a little bit hard with the, uh, the replays remembering. I obviously don't spend any crystals that round. I think it might be just saving again. I could have, once again, I could have leveled. Here we go. I'm spending the crystals here searching, and I find myself another Berserker as well as a Head Reaper. So I, I pause there, because if I win this round, that'll get me back up to 10 crystals. Unfortunately, that's not the case, but I don't have any more room on my bench to, uh, to add any more pieces, so there's no point continuing to spin the shop just yet. But you can see there that I am prioritizing finding the Voodoo Elder over actually getting to level 8. Uh, it's not too big of a deal. There's only three opponents at this stage of the level 8. And how do I go finding the Voodoo Elder? As I sell off Famine and throw uh, Misfortune on the board. So unfortunately, it cost me another 2-star. So this is a bit of an awkward transition. I've got a 3 Assassin back, but I do have a severe lack of strength in terms of 2 stars on the board. And you can see that I did not find a, uh, a Voodoo Elder despite going down to zero crystals once again. So this board is looking scary. Lots of strength on the uh, opponent side. Many, many two stars. And look at that Flame Caller. Absolutely melts through most of my heroes there. And uh, she does the same thing to Venom in the back line there. So down to 24 health. Things are starting to get a little bit sketchy. I really need to find that fourth dragon to pull the build together. You can see it's not current, uh, fourth uh, goblin, I should say. There's no fourth dragon in the game. Uh, the benefit of this build, though, as I continue to search for Voodoo Elder, is it only requires level nine to put the pieces together. So essentially the end build is four goblins, three dragons, three assassins, uh, two riders, two undead, two warlock, and two elves as well. So there's a bit of everything, but the meat of it is the Goblin Dragon Assassins. Uh, they do a fair bit of work. Let's jump straight through the, this next battle. Round 13, pretty terrifying looking assassin build. Lots of two stars. We still don't really have that many. And things start to get a little bit hairy for us at this stage. We're, we're spending all of our crystals on getting as many two stars and finding Voodoo Elder, which is what we need to be doing at this stage. But we're down to 15 health. We don't have too much time to continue to uh, lose rounds. There's another goblin, but still no Voodoo Elder. Let's see what this battle does for us. Once again, so many two stars on the other side of the board, but we did manage to level up our Dragoon, and that is very, very big. You can see the DPS charts. Tons of damage coming out of that Dragoon. And as we go into the next round, the creep round, I want to actually, actually, we'll skip through that. So we're straight into round 16. Let's have a look at the items you want to put on Dragoon. So firstly, we've got the critical greatsword. 30% chance to deal three times damage and splash damage. Dragoon does splash damage. That is amazing. And this may be the most broken item on Dragoon. 25% chance to freeze target. Once again, it's splash damage. So she can freeze multiple targets at the same time. And that is incredible. Still no Voodoo Elder though. All right, watch Dragoon. Watch the splash damage. Instant transform and look at how many frozen heroes there are. Almost every attack is freezing a hero. And just like that, we absolutely melt through and we still don't have, even have our full build online. You see now that uh, four opponents are level nine. We're still only one level behind, but really, really need that Voodoo Elder. How does this shop do for us? Once I have the Voodoo Elder, I'm going straight to level nine. I don't want to do it just yet because I lose another 2% chance of finding 2 stars. But as you can see, it's still not happening. Pretty much everything else is 2 star though. We're just waiting on another misfortune and obviously I've got the 2 gurus there. But I'm being a little bit greedy. Not going to lie, I feel like my build can beat most others now given what I matched up against. 
pretty much competing with value as well. So I'm being a little bit greedy and saving the gurus to maybe three star something like Dragoon or one of the goblins, because that'll be so critical to this build doing well. And look at the frozen heroes. That Dragoon splash damage with the Icicle Bow is absolutely incredible. That Icicle Bow may be one of the most OP items in this game for any hero that does splash damage. Someone like Dragoon, uh, Demons, if you're running multiple Demons. So unfortunate. Uh, oh, no, no, sorry. We just, just got the draw there. So it ended up being quite fortunate in the end. There's our two-star misfortune. We just need Voodoo Elder. And there's the Voodoo Elder, as well as another Head Reaper and a Hog Rider. So we finally get the required pieces to go for the full build. Let's jump into this battle. We don't have the four goblins on the board just yet, but you know I will be leveling up after this as we take down that Templar Knight, that three-star Templar Knight. But unfortunately, that Dragoon just doesn't get it done, and we go down to seven HP. We basically can't afford to lose another one, and we're not even guaranteed top four at this point either. So... Things are definitely a little bit sketchy. Round 19. So this is where I have to make a decision. I can grab that Berserker there as well to look to three-star them, but this is where it got a little bit interesting. I actually really need to get my fourth goblin on the board. So I sell both of those uh, four-cost goblins so I have just enough crystal to level up. That gives me my full combo, which is the best chance I have of staying alive. I cannot afford another loss. So now's not the time to be greedy. It's uh, it's about picking your moments. I have to get that Voodoo Elder on the board. And what does it do for me? Can I get the job done against this Assassin build now that I have four goblins and Dragoon's attack speed is uh, 0.8? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. She's obviously my carry at this stage. You see there that Berserker and Head Reaper also doing wonderful things now that I've got four goblins and look at that just like that we've gone from top six to top three both of our opponents are very very low as well we obviously have a creep round now i'm collecting any four cost heroes such as that dragoon i want all copies of uh, things like that the dragoon is really what i want a three star and look at that another dragoon i've still got 10 crystals how lucky can i get i grab the evergreen so i can two star the uh the guru there and then I just need one more Dragoon, and there it is. Dragoon in the shop. I'm on 7 HP. My opponents are on 10 and 11. Obviously, I could sell, actually sell the Voodoo Elder to get enough to 3-star the Dragoon, but I want to 2-star the Voodoo Elder as well. That will also be quite impactful. So if I lose this round, it won't matter because I'm going to be done. If I win this round, I'll get the bonus crystals. I can buy the Dragoon, and I will have a 3-star Dragoon and I get a comfortable win, a comfortable win on this board as well, and also Rhythm, as I just missed the pause button, Rhythm goes down as well, unfortunately, so we end up that game without being able to three-star Dragoon, despite having it there in the shot, but that is the build. It is absolutely monstrous, and it's getting more and more common in the meta. I'm seeing almost one, if not two people trying to run a build just like this in most games that I play. So let me know what you think of it. If you've run into it, if you've run it yourself, leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to help support the channel. And so that way you don't miss out on any of my future content. And until next time, I'll see you later.